Hey. All right, guys. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, Money Talk. So today I'm going to talk to you about what's going on with inflation. So up to this point, you have seen many things rise. You've seen your groceries rise. You've seen gas rise. Last week, Disney, uh, not Disney Plus, but Netflix announced that they would be increasing their monthly membership. And a lot of it was because of the shortage of how many new memberships could go in. And so the stock market reacted to that news. Netflix stock reacted to that news. Because the thing about that space with Netflix is they have a lot more competition. Disney, Hulu, all these different streaming services do cause a challenge in the marketplace for Netflix. But just like when streaming came about, it put pressure on the cable companies. And so the cable companies, as custom, more customers leave or transition or pursue all the different options in the marketplace, that rises the cost. But now Amazon has now announced that they will be going up in price. So just to put some notes around this, number one, this is the first increase for a Prime membership since 2018, when Amazon raised the price of an annual membership subscription from $99 to $119. So we're in 2022, it's been about four years. The reasons, quote from the CFO, uh, Brian from Amazon, is the reason for this increase is the offset of rising labor, which is the great resignation, right? Many people leaving their jobs, transition to new jobs, the high competition in the labor market, you have to pay higher wages to be able to compete. So, and logistic costs as Amazon continues to expand its offering in, uh, in the entertainment space. So, logistics, another word for a supply chain. We all know due to the chip issues and supply chain issues, the cost has really squeezed the market tight. And there's just a huge supply right now. That's why I've personally seen an uptick in the amount of um, trucking businesses and people getting into that logistics space because there's so much of a demand. But those things were the biggest piece of why this increase is happening. The increase now will be for February 18th, it will be for new subscribers with the annual subscription now costing $139 a year. So that's up from the $20 from the $119. And then $14.99 will be the new charge up from $12.99. So, and then current Amazon holders, members, you will start to see an increase after the current subscription cycle ends. Um, so after March 25th. Inflation, guys, the rising cost of goods and services. Inflation tightens on the market and then as the economy moves, it costs to do, the cost naturally increases to do more things. Things can happen in the market. So in ours, it's very pointed with the chip issue, with supply chain issues, uh, labor market. There are a lot of things that's causing a tight squeeze on the inflation. But as you can see, the things around you are going to start to cost a little bit more. And so the thing is, even with your Netflix, like, well, not your Netflix, but I'm sorry, we're talking about Amazon. Netflix, Amazon. But Netflix, I mean, a lot of that, there are phone companies paying for Netflix now. So that's a way to discount that. And it doesn't look like a huge uh, impact, right? These small increases happen over time. So if it's $2 now and then another dollar, and then before you know it, 10 years, you could be paying $25 for the same service just because the cost to operate and for them, labor, supply chain issues to operate this business model have increased. Same thing happens with cheeseburger. If you notice, 
It used to be a dime at one point, a nickel. Now it's $1.59. It's small increases. That's how it happens. But when you have small increases across the board, that's where the tight squeeze comes in. And your income is not rising like that. Look at what's going on in your budget. Look at what you're paying for costs. Look at how you can utilize some of the service to compound some of these costs and decrease and still get the same service. Review this thing, but continue to look at ways that, again, can help you increase your income. You can help fix this problem. More money, yeah, you can budget, but you can't budget out of price increases and your income is increasing at the same rate. So take advantage of this time. Make sure you're getting the maximum pay. Uh, value for your skill in the form of compensation. And if there's opportunity there, this may be a good time to review. But I thought this was great information because it's a good example of taking notice of things that happen while they're happening so it doesn't become a surprise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend who's trying to understand how this inflation thing works. If you like the video, give us a like. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.